Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony for Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the SH Monster Arts Jet Jaguar 2021 version. Uh, this is another review sample from, I was going to say Bluefin, but I guess they're not Bluefin anymore. They're just Bandai Namco. I'm pretty sure they got bought up by Bandai Namco. Anyway, uh, they sent me a few things that you, you saw the Godzilla the other day. Now we have Jet Jaguar and there's another one. You'll have to stick around to see what that is. But this is... It's unique for the SH Monster Arts line. I cannot speak. It's not quite a monster, but kind of, but not really. But it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Before we get into the measurements, I want to look at the packaging and show you that it looks like his eyes light up on the packaging. Like, not that you're going to order this by seeing the packaging and then think it looks like that because that's not how it works, but it looks like they light up. They don't light up, but the way it's made, they do kind of look like they're lit up. I don't know exactly what they did in there, but it is brighter in certain spots than others. I guess it's just white plastic behind the transparent blue plastic, but it does kind of have that effect, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this guy stands roughly, we'll just call it 16 centimeters. His little hair tip thing could be a little bit above that, but I'm not too, too bothered by it. And that's gonna be about six and a quarter inches. We're gonna do some height comparisons just so that you guys can see. He's a little bit shorter than Darwin. And up against Godzilla, though it's not the right Godzilla. It is a Godzilla. He's a little bit shorter than that, but not by too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick question of the day. What SH Monster Arts figure, probably a kaiju, some kind of monster, have they not made that you would like them to make? Any particular version of Godzilla or a new character or anything like that, you can let me know. All right. Um, let's, let's just talk about the aesthetic on this guy. It is mostly this tan plastic and it looks a little model kit-ish because of that, but there is painting in some places, like all the red and yellow is painted on the chest here, but there's also a little bit of like some airbrushing to make it look kind of worn. Same thing on the top of the head. I like that. I think it could have used a little bit more around just to bring it to life. It is very flat looking. There's no shading really anywhere, even though the sculpt work is nice. So that's a bit of a bummer, but I guess it's acceptable. It's okay. They have some cool soft parts. The yellow things at the uh, shoulders, at the elbows, and then the blue thing at the neck. Those are all soft plastic and they flex. I'll get into that in articulation. This little wire is an actual little... I mean, it's not a wire, it doesn't do anything, but it's a piece of plastic that's a separate piece, so that's pretty cool. Then you have the springs, they're just painted on. Could be a little bit cleaner, it looks like, but that's pretty cool that they did that. It looks like, I thought they were actually functional, they looked like real springs, but it is just painted and it's very nicely done, so that's cool. And then the line work throughout, it is very clean. And I like the face a lot, you can see the little mouth vents, very nicely painted. So, not a whole lot to talk about in the aesthetic. I think it captures the character well, and uh, that's about it. So, I'll give it an eight. I think it could use a little bit more panel lining and that kind of thing, but it does look pretty good. Now, as far as the accessories go, we have the two open hands that come on them in the package. Then you get a couple of hands with like, I guess you would call them pointing finger hands, and then some gripping hands. That's all fine. Uh, no alternate head or anything like that, of course, but you do get this little guy in a little seat, and he's a little bit poseable, but he can also go in the seat, which can peg into uh, Jet Jaguar's back. So there's that. The guy is not painted at all. I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is. Like, I know they do that for model kits. I don't know why they did that for this. So that's a little bit annoying, but that is a thing that they've done. Uh, for his head, he comes with the closed ear antenna thingies, and then you also do get the open ones for when he's in flight mode. So speaking of flight mode, you have the backpack, which is just kind of like a box that pegs onto his little handle thingies back there for normal, not flight mode. Then you remove that, and then you get this giant helicopter thing for when he is in flight mode. And I'm just going to actually show you this because it is articulated. These guys have ball pegs, so they do move up and down a little bit. They move for forward and back, and they rotate, so that's really cool. These little flaps down here, those work. And then, of course, the propeller spin. So that's cool, and that just pegs onto his back. And for when he's just standing, there is a clear acrylic display stand that pegs in there to support it so that he doesn't just fall over. Otherwise, if you want him in a flight pose, you'll have to use a you'll have to use an Act 4 stand, uh, which you would have to buy separately. But he does have the helicopter part, and that's pretty cool. And then lastly, we get his giant spear, 
which is actually really nicely done, though it's super heavy. The, the spear part is solid PVC, very, very nicely painted, and the handle is nice and metallic, and it looks awesome, but it's super heavy, so uh, good luck posing him with that. You are supposed to disassemble the spear, pull the handle out, slide his hands over the handle, and then put the head of the spear back on. But super cool accessory, just very, very heavy. But I think that pretty much covers everything I would want him to have. I'm not super familiar with the character, but I've seen a little bit, and I think that covers it. But if there's something else, you guys can let me know. But I'm going to go 8 out of 10. Really could use a flight stand. He's got a helicopter on him. He needs a flight stand. Okay, let's talk about articulation. For the head, it actually works really well. That blue is very soft, and it just flexes. And he can lean to the side very well. I love that little bit of attitude going on. He can look up that far, the plastic starts to bump otherwise. And then he can look down that far. It feels like a double ball peg in there. And that's always fine by me. So you get all the range you would need out of the head. Now for the shoulders, unfortunately, it's not the same story. This is very soft plastic, but the joint that's inside there, which feels just like a ball peg, is not stiff enough to fight that plastic. So you're gonna get almost nothing out of it. You can rotate it, but any of the actual like leaning in any direction doesn't really work. Luckily, he does have his own shoulder hinge on the outside, which does work pretty well. So you can bring it down and then rotate it forward and you can get his arm forward, but you're not gonna be using any of that actual shoulder inside the yellow part motion, unfortunately. So you have that hinge, you get your bicep swivel at that line right there, so that's good, that's standard. Elbow joint. As much range as you could want, and this is a soft piece that just stretches out over there, and it can pop off the instructions say you can just pop it right back in, but I haven't had any trouble with that. So that's good, and then you get your wrist rotation at this line, so that's fine. For the torso, you get, you can see that round part in there, that's the joint that lets him lean side to side, so that's really cool. And then he just has another joint that lets him lean forward and back. Not a ton of range, but definitely enough, and of course it just rotates as it twists. For his hips, what you see is functional, so you have the hinge that you would expect to have. So plenty of range there, obviously as far as it can go before it bumps into his torso. That just rotates right here, or I don't know, like so it looks like it's supposed to rotate here, but I think it just wiggles. It's like actually connected there and it's not supposed to rotate. I think you just get the rotation out of where you would get it if he was real. So you get that out of the hip area instead. So that's okay though, that's fine. Thigh swivel. You get it, it's in there, and then you get a double jointed knee out of the two parts that look like a knee. So that's pretty good, a lot of range. I was not expecting this guy to work as well as he does, but he does. And then for the ankles, this is the ankle rocker as it looks like it would be, so that's cool. Then you get a hinge right here and another one right here. So I don't know that you would ever actually wanna use those separately, but you can. And so he's got really good range going forward and some range going back, but it's kind of kind of silly. So it works pretty well. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but for SH Monster Arts, it's more hingy than ball peggy, and that is um, that's a new thing. And I think it's pretty cool, and it suits this guy well. So I'm pretty pleased. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. There are a couple things like the shoulders that could work better, but all in all, it's pretty solid. So. Final verdict on this release. It's a fairly simple figure. There's not a whole lot going on, but it's appropriate enough for the character. I think the thing I'm missing most, there are two things really. It's the panel lining would go a long way on this guy. And then the shoulder's not working. So I'm gonna knock off a point for each of those things, but otherwise, it's a pretty cool figure. I guess you could take another point off for not having a flight stand. Yeah, I think I will because he's, he should be able to have a flight. He should have a flight stand, should be able to use that helicopter. I'm gonna go down to seven which is a little bit harsh, but I do think for this guy it's appropriate. Panel lining maybe doesn't need a whole point. I'll knock off a half. We'll go seven and a half for the final rating out of 10. It's a solid release. If you're into Jet Jaguar, go ahead and pick it up. Do some panel lining yourself and you're gonna have a very sharp looking figure on your hands. So there it is guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.